coffee farmers need some more buzz. Prices are up 40% since mid-October on deficit concerns, but the industry still suffers from things like overproduction and volatility. Industry consolidation putting a lot of control in the hands of two big suppliers, Brazil and Vietnam, and climate change, which can alter how a crop survives, grows, and tastes. Low prices create decades-long boom and bust cycles that are hard and expensive to navigate. Take Brazil. It's the largest grower and shipper of Arabica beans. It's the fancy kind that Starbucks uses. It's run out of supplies for new orders. The crop missed expectations this year because of bad weather, while exports stayed strong. Lower prices and interest rates in Brazil also incentivized farmers to hold beans rather than sell them. The result is a price spike for some buyers. Enter Ely Cafe. This roaster wants to de-commoditize the industry. Do things like long-term supply contracts, so growers have cash to innovate, improve genetics, and renovate plantations. Ely Cafe is also one of many roasters that signed a declaration with the International Coffee Organization, which is exploring a funding vehicle using public and private money to develop sustainable coffee regions and stabilize pricing and production. The market needs a reliable, long-lasting jolt of caffeine. I recently caught up with Andrea Ely and asked him just how much investment is really needed. It needs to be one billion per year in order to create resilience. The problem is how to allow growers to get access to finance. Yes. So. What do you do? You know, cost of money in those producing countries is twice as high as in the consuming countries. And plus they have hurdles to overcome in order to access to credit. The solution is to mobilize institutional funds as well as uh, philanthropic funds and, 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 and impact investment by simply providing collaterals to the grower's investment. And uh, think as simple as a long-term uh, supply contract between a roaster and a contract can represent a sufficient collateral in order to allow the grower to access to uh, finance. What are uh, roasters going to do? Like, what, what did the ICO kind of lay out, and what's your role in it? <clears throat> First of all, I think one of the most important strategy is to uh, direct source coffee from growers. Mm -hmm. And traders can facilitate, because f f traders can sell contracts with providing full traceability where the coffee comes from and intermediating a contract between the roaster and the grower. This is one way to, uh, let's say, um, have a price fixed on the long term mm -hmm. rather than spot, mm -hmm. and uh, having a price which can take account the cost of production and not only the spot prices on the stock exchange. This is one tactic, and as I said, this long-term contract can also represent a collateral for financement. Other things could be that we build a, a fund. We are now we will, we are going to investigate a feasibility study for a, a, a fund for coffee sustainability. Do you need then coffee demand to grow at two percent to make all this worth your while? Like if it drops below that, does that affect how you allocate or how you think about it? I think that the. Uh, uh, Rather than considering the volume increase, mm -hmm. it would be important to consider the value increase. So what would be what we really necessary in the market in the future is to avoid to fall once again in this low prices trap. This long term, 10, 10, time, 10 years cycle is really detrimental for the industry. And it's basically stupid because why overproduction if you can better control production and maintaining a stable supply and demand. Well, what price do you think is the best for you, for investment, it, it and for growers? It would be minimum $1.50 per pound, mm -hmm. a price which is really allowing to cover all cost of production. What's the top, the price that you can sustain? I think prices should stay between uh, 150 to maximum $2 per pound in order to cover all cost of production to have a decent profit and cash flow for uh, growers so that they can invest in, mm -hmm. in constantly improving their plantation, delivering a quality which is good for the consumer to pay a premium.